And today we'll be continuing Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. Okay. Last time we had... Okay. We saw Garma. He was a pretty big focus of last episode. And it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to vilify him. Make him actually seem like he's bad. No. <laughs> I didn't get that at all. I like him even more now. So, I feel even worse about his death. Spoiler. But... Okay, we also find... Okay. So, Char... He died. The real Char. Like, the actual Char Casval died. Lady Cassilia, again... <laughs> they're making her seem really bad. She blew up like a whole, like... Like, I don't even know how many... 50 plus people were on there? She killed all of them. Thinking Kazval was in there. He wasn't. So... I... I almost feel like... I almost feel like Kazval knew that this was gonna happen, kind of. Because of, like, certain... The way he was looking... Like, the way he was looking at the ship while it was leaving. Like, he knew it was about to get blown up. Maybe. I could be wrong, but it seemed like he almost knew that was going to happen. But that's so cool. So, first he was wearing glasses, or sunglasses, because he had, like, some eye problems. So, like, like the gamma rays were, like, affect his eyes or something. Which is obviously just cap. <laughs> but, so, a guy named Lino is the one who actually gives him, like, Char's persona. The thing that we always see on his face... The like cover his identity. That's where he gets it from. He gets it from Lino. And Lino is also the only other person besides Cassilia that knows of his true identity. Well, as of right now, he was the only one. But he's dead. Which, Lino's death was whack. I get it. I kind of knew it was going to happen. Because first of all, I don't remember him. In Mobile Suit, and two, he knew his true identity, and he could not let that go. I know that I knew that was gonna happen. The way I w almost wish he would like die, like helping him, kind of like side by side, rather than like rather than Shar just like completely dunking him. Like that whole it was a complete setup, terrible. But so yeah, at this point, and also we find out that he's basically responsible for like the One Year War, right? That's what it's called. Kind of, because, well, yeah, he started the Dawn Rebellion. Well, yeah, he did, he, he legit did, but he did it through Garma. So, in reality, everyone's going to think it was Garma who started it, but actually, we know it's Char, so. Alright, where are we going from here? I don't know, I'm assuming it's going to be more Char? Probably... I don't know. Are we gonna actually... I mean, we've seen, like, snippets here, of, like, here and there of, like, Amaro and stuff, but are we gonna actually, like, get a full episode of Amaro? Or is it gonna be, like... it? The whole show ends, like, where Mobile Suit... The OG begins, kind of. Like, in the house, like, right before, like, everything happens. I, I mean, I have no idea, so yeah. Alright, we're gonna start this in three, two, one, what? Bam. Overall, Okay. Yup. Hype. We have to see the Gundam boys. No. Okay. Wow. Gar oh See? Okay, she's still good. She's not like she didn't get in trouble, I guess. He always does the hair thing. No, where's Lino? Lino Bro, really? Come on, man. Those are so cool. Excuse me. Sorry about 
Do you see, every time Garma enters the room, he's like, he completely changes his personality. Degwin. Does he only literally care about Garma? Dude. Man. It's so weird. Degwin, he seems to literally only care about Garma. Oh, he's gonna get dunked? Really? Thank you. This is Private Shar Osnable, and I respectfully take my leave. I am in your debt, Colonel. Take care, all the best. He's so formal. It's so cool. One more thing. I have a little favor to ask. If for whatever reason in the future should I ever be called into service, I'd like very much to be given the opportunity to be trained as a mobile corps pilot. Consider your request. That's My so cool. Oh, really? Mm. I'm surprised Zenimia is not like kicked out or something. I mean, she pulled a gun on them. You know what I mean? Just what do you two think you're doing? Leave us and give us the room now! Dang. Okay. <laughs> Oh wow. Even a big tough man such as myself is capable of being hurt sometimes. Uh, yes, sir. There are times when maybe I just want to be comforted by someone, I think. The truth is, I never considered taking a wife before. Whoa! Wait a second. Will you, will you, Zenimia, consider bearing my heirs? Holy moly! It's her! Holy moly! That was her name. I, it, that's, that's his... Holy moly. That just connected the dots. That was his wife's name, wasn't it? In mobile suit. Bro. That is so epic. Okay, so she is in mobile suit. Dude, so cool. Wow. Eve of Destin? Whoa, this sounds like... Lala? This sounds like Lala type music. <laughs> it has to be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! That was Kid L Baby Lala, wasn't it? That's her, isn't it? Oh, it's Lala, isn't it? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be rough. 
I'm so. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was Lala. Nice. There sure is a lot of development going on here. Huh. They've even got a casino. Gold too. Star Casino. Beside is your secret city. <gasps> oh, there she is. Bro. Oh, man. Is he cheating or... Oh, wait, no. Th this is the uh, new type abilities, right? It has to be. This is how he's cheating. He's using her, right? 100%. Dude, that... That is... Oh, my gosh. That is so messed up. But also, like... Wow. Dude, he's gonna be, like, rich. Because, I mean, she can, like, literally, like, you know, know... She, like, knows everything. You know? Wow. So, this is how we meet Lala. Bro... Is this on purpose? Maybe not. Is that it? Is this streak over already? Wow. Weird. Oh man. Oh. So oh. at the casino yesterday. Why did you guys start losing all of a sudden? Yeah. That fucking dealer just has that on his job. Wait, what? Stay away from me. Bad things always happen to people who get too close. Oh, is that so? Your friend sounds scary. Man. Is that your family? It's quite big. So did she get taken? So where are they all now? Mumbai. In India? Mumbai, India. Okay. Do you go back to visit? Mm -mm. I send them the money I make. Having money is much better for them than having me around anyway. Wow. Your family photos seem better to me. I think he more wants what I got at Gwen. Do you think it's possible to fix something like that? Sure it is. All you do is scan it, touch up the image, and reprint it. Really? Would you be able to do that to me? <laughs> Dude, I love her so much. But allowed to speak to strangers! No! Okay. Shark, sure, just kill him. <laughs> just kill him. I was just admiring your boat. It must have cost you a pretty penny, am I right? So how did you get the money? Answer me that, Mr. Genius Gambler! Who? Th that's a gun. Yeah, that's a gun. Wow. Is this how he dies? I mean, I'm assuming that guy dies. I mean, he's not in mobile suit, you know what I mean? Who the heck were they? Is he? Oh. The Manaus gang? He's gonna... It's to kill him to get in, isn't it? Yup. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, we saw him. Okay, in like for like three seconds.
Dude. Holy. Oh. Holy moly. I mean, sure, it's epic, but how can you fight this? You know what I mean? He's gonna... Really? With the shovel? Ooh. <gasps> it's coming back! I mean, we... What? So, was this the... F Wait, what? So, she, like, used the new type abilities? Dude, that's whack. His head just on the ground. So, is this the first time that... Char's like, I mean, he kind of, he saw it coming, right? Isn't that what happened? Wow. That was epic. That was gory. Rip Aga. Oh, what kind of weapon was that? What are those things called? Wow. So these are the Manas gang or something? Manus or Manas? Manas gang? Who is the guy that was like there with like a watch on? Who is he like a hostage? Who's that guy? Just some guy? Okay. Oh, okay. Just some guy, I guess. They're all gonna die unless he uses the mobile worker and like runs them over or like throws rocks or. Nice. Yup. Oh, hey, it's blue! I doubt it. Last time was Ramba. How do you explain what happened back there? Yep. The weapon came from behind me, so I couldn't have seen it. But I was able to sense it and dodged it at the very last moment. Yep. You didn't say anything to warn you, did you? I didn't. No. I see. Very strange. Lala. If it's true that you really don't care about going back home, why don't we go someplace really far? Yeah, like how far? Oh, this is so cool. Actually, I meant somewhere farther. Dude, stop. man. I'm glad we see her, but at the same time, this is gonna be sad. I'm so happy we see her again, though. Admiral Gop. RX-78! <laughs> Let's go. Oh. He worked under Minovsky? Minovsky? This must be a Bawaku, an asteroid they're mining for its mineral resources. And their mobile suit is equipped with a Dude. Shield. This footage that you're seeing right now is combat. I don't think that was. Okay, no, yeah. That's on par with a tank cannon. That's a freighter. Arcana. Hey, that sounds like Garen. I don't think Garen's here. That sounds like Garen, though, whoever was talking. It'll take more than 100 millimeter rounds to take down one of our ships. Are you sure about that? Gun cannon! Oh. You're wrong! Dr. Minovsky succeeded. This final defection will lead to him defecting Dr. Minovsky? The reason for that is the good doctor's been poached. Anaheim Electronics have stolen him from Zeonic. Hmm. I need you to do something for me. Go to the moon. To the moon? Me? The doctor will be heading from Granada where the Zeonic Fro, 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 fro! 
Oh, oh my gosh. Aro. Oh my gosh. Oh, she looks so good in this animation. Okay, she's a classmate. He's got Haro. Maybe you could try talking to him a little bit more. Wow. Sorry. Dude, this is so cool. She sounds good too. This is so weird. We barely saw this house in like the first episode. This is so cool. Anyway, I have to pack. I'm going to the moon on another patient's trip. Go make me some coffee, okay? Dang. Dang. Wow, 007. We're only a year away now. Wow. Okay. Granada, okay. It shouldn't be much longer now. I don't we are here, Your Excellency. I have no idea who that is. Why don't we get off, Catherine? Yes, let's. Catherine? I don't. I've been told that Dr. Minovsky is planning to head straight to Zionic from the spaceport. Will we be proceeding with the plans, Your Excellency? Catherine, shall we go ahead with our plans? Of course. Shall we go ahead with our plans, Catherine? Yeah, sounds good. <gasps> Ooh! Ramba? Ramba? Maybe? One looked a little blue. <gasps> Ramba! Let's go. Okay, that is it. That's the same one from Mobile Suit, isn't it? Bro! Oh! So cool. And I found out these are the Black Tri-Star guys. That's who these guys were. That's why they're so familiar. Right? It's Mash and the... Yeah. I don't know who she is. I mean, she's pretty, but I don't, I don't know who she is. If you'd be so kind as to escort me, Major. <gasps> gun, gun cannon. Let's go, gun cannon. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Wait, it, wait, was it? I think it said gun cannon too, didn't it? Hmm. So weird. We actually saw Frau Bo in one of those, right? So weird. How does that work? Uh. What, what the heck's happening? Okay, what? They kill the drivers to like change course or something, I think, right? Von Brown, do you read me? I would like to be sent out to the battle site. I want to see these gun cannons in action with my own two eyes. Okay. So Zion is deploying their mobile suits. So the gun cannons get dunked here. Obviously. This is so cool. I'm so happy 
Oh, for some, for some reason I thought it was Kai. It just reminded me. I mean, that's literally what they wear. But I'm so glad we see more of Temre. Like, actually do something, you know? It's so cool. She reminds me of Lady Cassilia. That's what I thought it was at first, but then like the hair and everything's different. Dude. This is so weird looking. It's so weird how Rama's right there next to Casval and doesn't know. Bro! Oh my gosh, that's they're so it's so epic looking. Yeah, rip. Big rip. Wow. I thought the report said there were four. Yeah, I know. He, he wasn't on like the radar, I guess. Bro. Dude, that's such a cool shot. Where's Tim Ray? Obviously he's not here, right? Uh, I don't remember Minovsky too much, though. Is he just gonna, like, die? I kind of feel like he might. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna do anything. Wow. Yeah, these gun cannons are nothing. Wow. <laughs> dude! Oh, dude, he almost, he almost pulled the shot off, dude. They're all dead. Oh, man. Oh, we almost got a Cassilia death scene right there. That's almost exactly what happened to her. Dude, he's such a menace. Wow, I don't know how many people he just killed. Red, wow. He's still into the red comedy. They're just calling him Red. He's halfway there. They're calling him Red at least. Dude. Overkill. <laughs> Dude, run. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're like barbarians. Like elite barbs from like Clash Royale. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're dead. They're so dead. That's Dr. Minovsky. <gasps> yeah.
He's so dead. Oh yeah, guy is not even listening, bro. Wow. Dude. So it's because of Gaia that he dies. Really. That is such a cool shot. I'm afraid that I must refuse. Granada is a neutral territory, and as such, we simply cannot suddenly just side with Zeon and take part in your war. And as we are fellow Luvan cities, we've maintained a cordial relationship with Von Braun for a number of years. Hmm. I cannot participate in something predicated on betraying. She reminds me of Lady Cassilia. Zeon is no longer a republic. It's a principality. My father will name himself as its sovereign, and he'll declare it is Cassilia. <laughs> that may be, but I can't get to work. I must confirm it myself. Be careful on your way home. Granada can be a very dangerous place to the one that the Federation has. I didn't say anything about using it as a launching point to attack Von Brown. All I did was. Oh! That guy just scared me. Wow. They're still going by Catherine? I thought it was Cassilia. It is. It has to be, right? Am I tripping? Wow. Dude. Dang. We must adopt new policies without delay. He sacrificed everything for the chance to work with us. And in the end, he sacrificed his own life. Mm -hmm. There was his passion, but there wasn't anything I could do. But we can carry on his work. That was easier said than done. I certainly sympathize with you. However, there's no need for concern. The project has been coming along nicely. In fact, it's almost complete. Allow me to prove it to you. I will show you our definitive plan. Oh my gosh. Behold. Oh. No. Dude, it's so epic. Gundam. Gundam. No, oh, man. I mean, there's no way he's home yet. We just he's not. So, who's here? Dude, Amaro looks so cool. Oh, he's just going in? Bro. Wow. Wow, dude. There's Gundam. That's so cool. Universal Century 0078, October 24th. Okay. The Republic of Zeon ratifies its transformation into a principality. Concurrently, it declares its independence from the Earth Federation. Dude, Garen's awesome. Oh, her parents! Okay, Frambo has a dog. Oh, what are their names? <gasps> Wait, no. I was thinking today's the day that starts the beginning of Mobile Suit, but I don't think so. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my gosh, they're both here, dude! Wow, they're both here. Kai and Hayato? Dude. That is so cool. Have you been pulling off oh, this is so epic. Did you remember to eat your dinner last night? I ate it, okay? Well, that's kind of a mess. Look, it's the conduct police. You planning on getting 
Bruh, really, Kai? Who are those suckers? Kai? So Kai's always been one of those people, okay. Where the heck is he going? Man, dude, Frau Bo wants him so bad. Oh yeah, she wants him so bad. Dude, she's epic. Frau Bo's epic. So this is what he had to do? No, that can't be it, because they were going home a second ago. I don't know where he was going. No, come on, dude. No, dude, he's so epic. He or she or it, I mean, I don't know. January 3rd, 0079. We are there. We're there. Okay. 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 This isn't the beginning of Mobile Suit, is it? This is what it's reminding me of. Is he even here? At least he wasn't watching anything sus. Yeah, I know, for real. Why couldn't... Why couldn't they end up together in the end, you know? They seem like the perfect cup. You're like... She's so good for him, you know? Is he, okay, so he's definitely the Red Comet now, right? Dude, this is so cool. La la. La la. What are you doing right now? I'm gazing up at the stars. Oh man. The stars don't actually twinkle here in space. Do me a favor and sit tight. I'll be back as soon as I'm done with this job, okay? Man. No, I'm hearing singing. It's over, isn't it? It's over. I'm pretty sure. Holy moly. See, okay. This sh It keeps surprising me. It's so weird because it's an origin. So you're like, kind of, not necessarily expecting certain things, but like you almost kind of, you don't, you kind of know what's coming because you know it has to like go a certain direction to get to where Mobile Suit begins. But dude, it surprised me over and over. Okay. The first big thing was the whole fact with Zena. Dude. Okay, I'm going to check real quick. Because that is crazy. That, dude, that, that was so surprising to me. I was like, because the names sound familiar and she seemed like such a big character, like, in the origin, but she's not in the show, so I was confused. But no, she definitely is, right? It is. I went back in my notes and yeah, I wrote, I remember writing Zena now down. Wow. Oh, dude, this is so epic. Okay, whoever has ever watched Mobile Suit, the original, you have to watch the origin. 
It makes it so much better in every single way. Dude. I don't know, that just, that blew my mind so much. But it made, it, that's who she is. Because it's like, it was so weird. Because like, I, I, I don't remember her. No, I mean, I do now. But like, I remember the name. When they said her name, it sounded so familiar, but I couldn't connect any dots to anyone named that. We barely see her, but she is in mobile suit. That is so cool. And she's with her daughter, with her kid, uh, what was it? Maneva, right? Yeah, I think it was Maneva. I'm pretty sure. Their daughter, Maneva. Dude, that is so crazy. Even she has, like, a backstory for, like, we literally saw her for, like, three seconds and then, like mobile suit it's just so weird she like pulls a gun on Dozel in the beginning dude this is so epic okay so we, we jumped all through time on this one okay so it seemed like the ending of last episode was 0076 is what I thought but then in the beginning of this they said 0077 was the beginning or like that's when the dawn rebellion happened so I guess we are in double 0077 and an interesting thing that Degwin said to Garma, which is pretty obviously, it's he, Garma is his favorite. And the reasoning why is kind of because, well, he said all of his other kids are all bloodthirsty. Like, I mean, they all kind of, oh, yeah, even Dozel. Dozel seems to be the most normal out of all the bloodthirsty kids, but I guess he still kind of is. And it was just, it was like a genuine, it felt like a genuine moment between Degwin and Garma. And like Degwin Zabi was just like straight up roasting Dozel. Like making fun of him, like roasting him, saying like this is all his fault. And as soon as Garma walks in, like his entire demeanor changes immediately. And he's like the happy father again. It's so, it's cool, but like, I don't know, because I don't, obviously I don't like Degwin really. But he, I see the only thing that makes me not like him is the whole fact is didn't, isn't he the one that kind of killed like, isn't Degwin the one that killed Zeon Daikun? Cause I think he is the way the whole thing played out. It kind of seems like he was the one that poisoned him, but if it wasn't for that one specific reasoning, so far in the origin and in mobile suit we don't really see him do all that much he just kind of sits there and it seems like the majority of all evil that's happening is really Cassilia and Garen Garen's full on Hitler mode right now in Cassilia I'm pretty sure she's Catherine what kind of confirmed it, I mean, the, certain things she was saying, but they never broke character. They never, they continue to call her Catherine until the very end of the time we have, uh, like, this episode. So they never once said it was Cassilia. So I guess it's not completely confirmed. But then she said, like, my father, like, I'm referring to, like, Degwin, I'm pretty sure. And her whole demeanor and the way she acts and, like, the thing she's doing is what Cassilia does. I'm just, I, I'm... It's Cassilia. It has to be, right? They didn't say it straight out, but I'm pretty positive it is. Because she's literally doing what, you know, Cassilia does. Getting people to kill other people for her. <laughs> this is what she's been doing the entire origin so far. So, Manofs Manofsky. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's dead. Dude, this was... I'm so happy we had tons of Tim Ray. Because we almost get none of him at all in Mobile Suit. So I'm really happy, you know, we got to actually see him. The only thing this episode was missing was Sayla. I wanted to see a 0079 in this animation version of Sayla. Because we got like a 0076, I think, of her. But we did get a 0079. So I want to see exactly what she looks like. Where she would be in Mobile... You know, like... Like our version of Sayla that we know from Mobile Suit. Okay, so... Yeah, we met Lala in the, what was the casino called? Gold Star Casino. Okay, so who was the guy that she was with? It wasn't Aga. 
Because Aga was the guy who was, like, throwing, like, boomerang, like, discs of blades. I don't... I mean, I've seen those before, but I don't know what they're called. That guy was, like, amazing with them, though. I don't know who... Lala... I don't know who that guy was. What was his name? Yeah, I don't know his name, but, you know, the guy that was basically Lala's, like... So, it, yeah, Lala seemed to have been a slave. And the purpose of her was... As of what we've seen, is they use her because they are aware of her abilities, of her new type abilities. And I'm pretty sure once he, uh, that whole incident happened with, like, she literally, like, saved Shard's life because that disc was coming back to, like, cut his head off. But he, like, saw it because, like, she, like, put the thought or whatever, how that works in his head and then he dodged it. Because if you go back to, what was it, last episode or two ago? I think it was last episode. No, it was two ago. Where Jim Barral was talking to, at the time, Edwa. Edwa? I think that's how you say it. It's not Edward, apparently. It's Edwa. When he was talking to him about the new types and all of that, he wasn't exactly listening, but he kind of was. And I'm assuming he, he probably did like get the knowledge of it. So after this incident happened, he probably knew immediately that this is probably the new type ability. Or she probably just told him, I guess, because it seems like they're close. It seems like they're living together, I guess. I'm not too sure, like, the full grasp of, like, like, Lala was getting money. It seems like the scraps of money from, like, the money, like, he would make, like, the huge amount. The, the guy that was, like, basically using her to, like, cheat in the casino. And she might get, like, a single, like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how money works too much in this, like, universe. But it seems like she was getting some money and sending it all back to her family. But what's interesting is it seems like, well, at least it seemed like she cared about her family. But then, like, she kind of had, like, the opportunity to, like, return now. Now that her captor's, like, killed. But she still decided to not. And she still currently was Char to the very end, you know? Like, was she... She seems to be a slave. I don't think they use the words exactly, but I think she was. And he seems to be abuse. I mean, obviously, she had bruises, so after... So, what was it? How did she... So, she wasn't able to, like, predict what was going to happen because the casino lady was, like, bad at her job, so she didn't even know what she was doing or something? Is that why Lala was, like, not able to predict what was happening? So yeah, I don't know if she's like a sex slave. I can't quite tell. We we only seen her like do like one actual thing. So I'm just assuming she was her purpose was for her new type abilities, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, but then there was like a Aga a comes out of nowhere. No, actually the uh what was it? What was the gang called? The Man Manas gang? Manas gang or something like that they came on some like boat with like a gatling gun destroyed the captor of Lala's like boat like blew it up immediately I thought he was gonna die right then and there but he didn't he escaped but then the person that seemed to have been with them at the time was Aga who then switched sides to join the gang and I knew immediately the way he was acting was super sus I knew the captor guy was about to die and this was per this scene was pretty gory. I'm trying to think back. I'm this scene was really gory, but I still think the Cassilia death scene was worse. If you actually go back and look frame by frame at that scene, the Cassilia or the head getting blown off, you see like a dude's like inner body, like his rib cage, like half his body missing. Her head literally flies off her shoulders. It was gory. Like, you see Cassilia's leg go flying off in the distance, dude. Like, that scene was super gory. This scene was also... But, like... I don't know. They were both real gory, actually. It, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But... So, he cut the dude's head clean off. That was kind of gross. Because, it, like, it was so, like... Cut and smooth. That, like... His head started, like, 360 on his body. Because it was, like... A plate on like sauce or something so it was just like slowly spinning it was so gross and then it fell off obviously he died 
And I was kind of confused at first. How the heck is Char supposed to fight this guy with a shovel? And he was doing okay at first. But then, I mean, straight up, he would have died if it wasn't for Lala. Lala saved him. So after, yeah, so his shovel got cut in half. And then he stabbed the dude right through the, like, the chest with it. And he died. And then the thing came back and stuck in his head. That was so gory. It was cool, though. See, these scenes, like, this is so epic. Now we get to know where Lala comes from. Kind of. Yeah, well, we do, because she came from uh, Mumbai or Mumbai, India. I think it's Mumbai, India. So, yeah, she's... Dude, so cool. And I just think it's cool that Dozel seems to have been, like, the one pushing hard for the mobile suits. At least in the Zabi family. He was like, because Garen seems like he didn't care at all. But Dozel seemed like he was pushing so hard to get this mobile suit thing working out. And I mean, it does. And it's cool too, because he's also the one that uses the uh, big Zom, which is Dozel. One thing I wish the Origin did, and I, I don't feel like it's going to happen at this point. I mean, we're currently in 0079. The same year that the war, like, the whole mobile suit thing goes down, you know? Garma, he doesn't seem bad even remotely. At all. I, I feel, I still don't, I feel so bad for his death still. He hasn't done anything that resembles anything evil, really. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, nothing he's done that seems actually that all that bad. He just seems kind of, like, normal. Well, obviously he's not normal, and he did, like... I mean, he was the one that, technically, the whole event that went down at the end of last episode was because of him. Well, kind of. So, I guess, but, like, at the... Not, you know, no. I still like him. He hasn't really done anything. Okay, so, Dr. Manofsky. I think that's how you say it. So, he seemed like he designed... I mean, he did. He... So... I'm a little confused in kind of how it went down, but, like, it seemed like he was working with the Zeons. Like, it seems like he sat, like, this is kind of what Tim Ray said. He sacrificed everything to, like, make it to us and then die at the very last second. So it seems like I, I, that whole scene, I mean, that whole, like, story bit was kind of confusing. So he was defecting from... Zeons to go to the Federation and then Catherine which I pretty positive is Cassilia hired dudes to basically kill him so he couldn't make it to the Federation like help that side out something like that I think and I didn't know this but Tem Ray actually worked underneath Dr. Manofsky that I didn't know and so he seems to have been like, Tem Ray's been working on this mobile or this Gundam project or the RX project for quite some time. And like his entire room in the house is full of Gundam blueprints and like parts and like schematics of how to build it. So Amuro is kind of, it seems like he's already aware of... Like, obviously, he went into his father's room and he's, like, researching and all this stuff. So, he is getting familiar with it. And this kind of explains, too, how Amuro is so good at, like, certain things in Mobile Suit that it doesn't feel like he should be at his age. It's because he's just, like, going through all of his dad's stuff right now. Like, uh, like learning and... You know what I mean? So, that's kind of cool. And we still haven't heard him called the Red Comet yet. He's currently Red. Well, that was in 0078. And now that we're January 24th of 0079, I'm pretty positive he's the Red Comet at this point. But yeah, we see Kai and Hayato and Frau Bo. This, the origin is doing so much more than I was expecting it to go into. I, I never thought it would actually go into, like, this close up to Mobile Suit Gundam. I thought it was going to be like way in the past. Kind of how it started. 
But like we're all the way up. We're literally in the same year that Mobile Suit Gundam happens. The show. Like this is crazy. We're like there pretty much. Like what are we like a week away? I don't know the exact date of when Mobile Suit Gundam starts. But like the war literally it's begun. So I, I don't it has to be like days right? Like, we're days away from it starting, is what it seems. But yeah, Kai seems like he he's no different than he is in Mobile Suit. Even before everything went down in White Base, like, where he's now in White Base, he still seems to be acting the same way as he does on White Base. Which is kind of funny. And he sounds identical to what he did in Mobile Suit, which is funny. We didn't really see Hayato do much, but it's just cool to see him there. Where's Ryo? R Ryo. Where is he? And this is makes the whole Fraubo situation. I mean, I mentioned it a lot during the show, but like, she's like so perfect for Amaro. If Amaro wasn't such a milf hunter, boys, she would have been perfect. You know what I mean? Like, she, it's so obvious that she cares for, like, Amaro. Like, making him food and stuff, like, making sure he's, like, doing good and all that. Looking out for him while his dad's gone. Yeah, everyone in this new animation looks really good. I don't... I don't know. I was going to say Lala's animation is a little iffy. I don't know which one I like better, but it's not iffy. I like them both, but they're like... I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. I like them... So, I don't know. All of the animations of like... The way they look in this one compared to the last one. They, I like them both in like different ways. I think, I don't know. I'm thinking I like the older version of Lala better. Maybe. I can't tell. I don't know. Maybe it's because she it was like, she seemed to have been more mature. This is one thing that I noticed like, especially with Garen. He seems way older in this version than, well, I mean, every character, they seem older for the most part, and then they do in the OG mobile suit. But, like, Garen Zavi looked like he had gray hair. Like, he looked way older than he did in the original. In double, because we saw him for like a split second in 0078, I'm pretty sure. Or it was 0070, I don't know. But he looks way older than he does in the OG mobile suit. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, we've, this is so epic. We've seen, like, everything. This went way beyond my expectations for the origin. We're seeing like everything now. Now I don't know what to expect. I was surprised we saw Kai and Hayato. I kind of had a feeling we might see a Lala because she seems to have been like a... Well, so... I don't know. It's so cool. And it's also cool that we're seeing the house that Amaro like is in in the beginning in Mobile Suit because we barely see that house. So it's one thing I would like to see his mom. I don't know if we will necessarily because we don't. Well, yeah. Why don't we see the mom? You know what I mean? And back to what I said in the very beginning with like Degwin, Zabi, and Garma. It almost seems like Degwin's like. He seems to be the closest one. Well, obviously. I mean, he cares the most about Garma, but like. The closest in like the way they like go about themselves to Garma. Like. How, like, the ending of Mobile Suit when he, uh, Degwin was trying to do the peace treaty before getting, like, nuked by a laser by Garen. <laughs> like, if it was up to any of the other ones, like, Cassilia, Dozel, Garen, they, they never would have done the peace treaty. So he, like, by that, Garma seems to be, like, the closest one to Degwin. Like, the way they think, kind of. I know, Garma just seems the most purest, like the pure hardest, compared to all of them. Like, I almost... I don't know. Like, I feel like he'd be, like, a genuinely good person if he wasn't having the last name of Zabi. I still don't know anything bad he's actually done, so... Yeah, but... Uh, I don't know, because this is only episode four, and we got two more, and we're already in the same year as the beginning of 0079, so I don't know what the heck next episodes are going to be about. 
like who are we missing now is like big characters that we haven't seen yet because we've seen like almost all the characters so far like who are we going to see next Rio Rio I think that's how you say it right are we going to see him Isolina would be cool Matilda maybe Makuve who else because we've seen like I feel like we've seen almost like everybody so far who are really oh Mr. Bright we have to see white base right I mean we saw the Gundam we have to see white base I don't see I don't think we'll see a lieutenant or I don't think we'll see Slager because we don't get him until like nearing the end of mobile suit so I don't think we'll see him but I mean, we've seen just about everyone. I would like to see Hamon, though, or Hamon, however they say it, because they change it. They call her Hamon or Hamon half the time, so. I would like to see Hamon now in 0079 to see if, like, she's dark, like her heart's darkened, or she seems more creepy. I've noticed this, too, with Casval, the name. A half the time, they're pronouncing it Castfall or Castval. Like, even the narrator. Half the time is pronouncing it spelled like C A S T, Castval, or then they're calling it Casval, Castval, Hamon, Hamon. Bro, make up your mind. Which one is it? <laughs> I don't understand that. How did, how did that happen? How are they pronouncing it differently? Like, can they not see how to say it? There's no T, but then sometimes they'll say Castval or Casval. Like. I don't know. Anyways, it would be cool to see Haman again in 0079 to see if, like, she's, like, darkened and become more creepy and is truly using the Crowley name, you know, like, Aleister Crowley. Like, she seems super creepy in the OG mobile suit. I would like to see, because we've seen Gar uh, Ramba. He's pretty much identical to where he is in mobile suit. But... I would like to see Hama now, to see if she's changed. But, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't know where the heck we're going next episode, because we're literally in the same year now, so... I don't know, but yeah. I'm in here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching.